Um, let's let's jump right in. Um, there were a couple things that Dark Dragon told me. Uh, are issues. Um, my iron line gets down to one line, and he says it's because it's one of my splitter things. So, where's my iron here? Because I was talking about how this is all on the left side. And I think it's, he said because these, these here are prioritizing one side, but I don't think they shouldn't be. Like, it's two sides here, and when it splits, it should split evenly. Is it because this split and then this double split? Hmm. None of these should be prioritizing one side or the other. Yeah, none of those are prioritizing here. You must be lonely. Nobody's here. What's up, Von Rollin? Uh, I just started. I And I always act like there's people here. <laughs> none of these are prioritizing a certain side, so I don't know why. Gosh, start off the day with them destroying something. Oh, destroying my artillery tank that I, uh, my artillery thing that I just rebuilt. Do I not have protection? I have protection. I have lasers. I have two lasers, three lasers, and apparently that wasn't enough to protect this. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, well, I lost my artillery tank. Uh lost my artillery tank. Okay, our artillery thing. Um, I'm going to just pick this up for now. This artillery train is not really doing much at the moment. So, uh, well, we might we might mess more with the artillery train. I guess it's attacking from over there. Um, how are you doing, Von Rollin? Let me see here. I want to figure out why this iron is single line, or it's prioritizing on the left side. I guess because the splitters are going up or something. I don't know. This is a line balancer that is balancing my line here. You're good now. Have to work tonight, though. You hate night shift? Man, I don't blame you. Night shift sounds like that would kind of suck. Maybe it's because I have this one splitting off. I have like a lot of splitters here. I actually don't know why I have this splitter here. Is there any reason for this splitter? I feel like there's no reason for that one. So if I were to do this, does that help at all? Uh, that makes this bottom row have more stuff. Kind of. Wow, my iron is not actually completely filling up here. I have a lot of splitters here. It might it's probably because I have all these splitters here. Um, my iron is going off in many different directions. Um are any of my iron things not going? All of my uh, all my iron dudes are going, so it's not like we don't have enough iron being burned. Possibly, I could have an extra output of iron lines and increase my iron smelting here. Because my smelters are all going, so if I had a, an extra line of smelters and had two lines here I wouldn't have to pull so much just from here if I had like a second line going right into here that would actually get more iron going in these different places I kind of want to do that I don't I don't need a ton more iron smelters but if I get a few more I think I would actually be fine with that um, which would means I would want to where would I want to do this? Hey, what's up, Johnny O'Than? How are you doing, my friends? Good to see you, sir. Yeah, I'd want an extra... I 
like more iron smelting, have a splitter go off. Actually, I could have, instead of this feeding into the side, have this splitter go into there. I wonder how that would look. What would that look like if I did that? What would happen if I just did that? Does that help or hurt me? Still having trouble getting iron down here. So it looks like I just need to smelt more iron. Okay, so if I were to smelt more iron, um, where would I want to put it? Probably down here, actually. Um, so if I did like um, electric furnaces right here, pull off this line, I should have some more electric furnaces, yeah. So if I did like some of this, we do that, we have a uh, long inserter, getting the iron off of there. Short inserter, putting it there. So also put it on the other side, which is kind of nice. Okay. Okay. So that injects a good one, two, three. And you know what? Uh, Dark Dragon also said I can control click my speed modules into things. So if I do this, shift click. I'm shift clicking, I'm control clicking. Said that's supposed to put in speed modules and it's not doing it. Shift, shift right click, control right click. It's not putting modules in. I don't know why. If I put one there, shift click, it'll put the other one. No, that doesn't work for me. For some reason, I can't put modules in things by clicking. Left control click with the module in your hand. Oh. Okay, that's an important distinction to make. <laughs> all right, that is getting a little more iron down here, which is good. We're still using it all up. I'm actually making a little less get here. I probably need to do even more iron burners. Uh, how's our rocket coming along? Let's see. 35%. Okay. So rocket fuel. Let's make sure we are not completely... We might need to get more solid fuel being made, honestly. Balancer after the new smelter line isn't necessary now. Balancer after the new smelter line. Talking about this guy? Okay. Okay, there. Okay. Okay. All right, let me look at my uh, solid fuel into rocket fuel situation. Because that's actually going to hurt. Oh, wait a second. I'm using all... Okay, no, these guys do are actually using solid fuel. You guys are missing solid... No, you're not. You just fill up the copper. Okay. I feel like I actually need to increase my solid fuel production. Um, or at least inject the solid fuel line into where these guys are going, because you are using lots of solid fuel. So what I might do is, this is probably creating most of my solid fuel right here. How's my light oil doing? I'm using up basically all my light oil for solid fuel, looks like. And I'm cracking heavy oil into light oil. I'm using up all my fluids pretty well, I will say that. Um, I'm not cracking, I am cracking light oil into s petroleum. Do I want to continue to do that is the question, because I actually want a lot of light oil. So if I maybe get rid of one of these, if I just clear you, 
I make it so we're not cracking light oil into petroleum. Um, well, let's start getting a little more light oil. How is our crude oil? We're using up our crude oil. Okay, well, we're not using it completely up. Petroleum tanks are doing pretty good. They're uh, they're staying. We're not using up the petroleum. It doesn't look like, but we are using up the light oil. Um, and these guys are. Okay, so we have all this solid fuel. If I do a splitter here and have this go into this line here, I think that will help because uh, this this line is backing up. So let me flip this off um, in order to put it on this line for the rocket fuel. So that'll get more solid fuel into the rocket fuel. I will let these guys continue to work here. Turning off light to petroleum cracking makes sense. Yeah. Um, my only worry is if I turn off both the light oil to crack to petroleum cracking, I might start losing. Yeah, petroleum is a little going down because I'm using a lot of petroleum. I'm doing three plastics, I think. Got our sulfur. Um, what is this one doing? This one's doing, what are you doing? Oh, you're cracking light oil to petroleum too. So I had three light oils cracking to petroleum. I think I'm gonna stop this one too. You could also afford to add more refineries. Yeah, <laughs> if I could find space. Yeah, I could. I actually added one last time, I think. Currently have three. I could like add another refinery out here and if I can just connect it to tubes, connect it to pipes. Um, Cause yeah, we have crude oil I can refine. So I should do that. Finding this space though, that's the challenge. All right. Um, let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can do that. Maybe, um, no, these light oil tanks are all empty, so I could possibly do that. Although I like I like having that space. I like having that space. So if I were to do like in this open space here, I could inject it into these tanks, the light oil in these tanks, heavy oil into these tanks. The petroleum, if I get it into right there, I think that injects into it. Because I have all these... As much of a mess as this looks like, which it is a mess. Uh, I actually, there is, um, the, they're all connected. So I'll hook up circuit systems to control turning cracking on and off depending on the fluid levels and tanks. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to get that complex into that. Um, all right, let's see here. All right, so if I were to put a refinery right here, I got water right here too, so that's good. I'm gonna need some more uh, underground pipes. Okay. Thought I had an extra refinery. I must have finally used it. Or maybe it was a chemical plant, not a refinery. Okay, so refinery. Uh, where are you? You're probably right in front of my face. Right there, oil refinery. Okay. There's water right there. I guess I could put it right here. 
Will this pipe go down? Yeah, I think that might work. Uh, where are you, refinery? So I do it right here. There. Uh, and we're doing advanced oil processing. And we go water. There. Where do my pipes go? You guys are supposed to give me pipes. I'm requesting 100 pipes. You're not giving me pipes. Am I not in my robot system? Are my logistics robots overworked? I mean, boys. No, I'm in the system. Why don't you bring me? I probably need to put more logistics robots in here, actually. I could I could probably afford to make some more uh, logistics robots. Where are they? There, we can make a bunch of more logistics robots. You are not refilling my supplies fast enough. There, there you go. There's lots of the logistics robots. Robots, robots. Okay. Pipe there, and then get the petroleum here. That's not where it should go. That's not where it should go either. What? Why aren't you? Uh, okay. Uh, robot destroyed. They're attacking my artillery train track that I made over there. Okay, so that is that guy. Uh, okay, so now we're refining, refining, refining. Uh, so we want this guy to be injected into this system somewhere. So probably over here we can get that to go in. Giggity. Here to here, here to here, and here to there. There we go. So that should inject more petroleum. Uh, light oil, if we just connect it to right there. No, that's heavy oil. Uh, connect the light oil. To right here. That is the wrong thing. What? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so you're connected there. Um, yeah, these underground things. Okay, I can go from this one here, actually. Actually, what? What is actually? Actually, I can just put it right there. Yeah, these uh, these light oil tanks are connected to all of my other light oil stuff. All these light oil lines are connected to each other so that I have lots of storage going to other things. But I could just have this light oil connect here. They're connected to all these, so I have a space right here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a wow of, wow, that's terrible, or, or wow, they actually connect. That's why all these pipes that look like a mess kind of work. I mean, they kind of work. So now that I've done this, this light oil we're creating should get all the way up to here. Uh, if you follow the lines down. Light oil across, down, to these tanks. This light oil actually connects all the way up there. As funny and ridiculous as this looks, it, it actually connects. So. All right, there we go. Now we get more heavy. So that just added extra oil to all the system. So, heavy oil, light oil, uh, petroleum. I mean, even if you follow all the petroleum lines, uh, they're going into that tank. That connects to these tanks. This tank is somehow connected. <laughs> this is really a mess. 
and they're even attached to all these so this is a big spaghetti cluster but it's working it, I think it's working how is our hey that should have increased our rocket fuel by a good amount okay that's great that was the main thing I wanted to do with that I wanted to increase our rocket fuel uh, make sure these are running at all times so solid fuel was increased by that um, how's our power looking pretty good you know I can also increase my nuclear power because I have the reactors to support more steam turbines I believe um, steam turbines I can make four of them make all of them oh crap why does it does it really take that many iron gear wheels per steam turbine 50 per okay all right, all right. It really does take that many. Okay, well, we'll be building those. Um, so, if I wanted to improve my artillery, oh gosh, look at all those dudes up there. Let me let me go. I want to work on a little bit of defense stuff here. All right, robots. I want to protect my base. I could actually make more uh, modules for my armor too. Okay, looks like this is good. Why aren't you repairing? Do I not have repair kits? I should, don't I? Do I request any repair? I repair quest fifty. Am I out of repair kits? Surely I'm not. No, I have plenty. Why are my guys not repairing? Okay, I guess maybe a construction robot was going to do it. Okay, there we go. All right, um, and let's check who has expended. Oh, we are expending this iron. Okay. Expending, is that the word? Uh, exhausting. Okay. So let's um, get these iron things going. My next run through of this, my plan is to do something that I think uh, Cthulhu talked about. He liked to do. He likes to put mines over the entire deposit and not have to replace them ever. I might want to try doing that setup at some point. So I'm going to have these going up, I believe. Okay. Actually, I could inject them right here. Uh, I like to put it at the end of the line because um, uh, because they'll be running more frequently. Okay. All right, so we gotta get rid of these power cables. Okay, and there we go. And uh, replace the turrets. And so we have a whole other line of iron we can add there. There, put our uh, radar back here. Put you right over here in an empty space. There we go. Okay, keep the iron must flow. The iron must flow. Okay. All right, so these um, steam turbines are done. There's four of them. There they are. Okay. Uh, we need to put a... No, we don't need to put a pipe on these. These can just be like this. Like this. Power cable there and there. And then let's see the. Oh, we need heat though. So I need heat pipes. I don't. Those. Mining productivity. Nice. We are almost done with all the research. 
Artillery shell range. Oh, that seems good. Energy weapon damage also seems good. Whoa. Those take science. Are those, I mean, space packs? I think those white are space packs, aren't they? I don't have those yet. So I can't do those yet. Let's do um, logistic slots. Okay. There we go. Watch the heat on this as we start a new turbine up. Neighbor bonus, 100%. It went down one degree. And I guess it's going to stabilize back up to one more, probably. Let's we'll see what happens when we connect the other one, though. There. Still only down one degree. Wow, how much power are we creating right now? Production 60 megawatts from our steam turbines. 35 megawatts from our solar panels during the day. It's pretty good, actually. I could probably even do another solar panel array if I wanted to. Um, if I wanted to, like... I wonder if you can put laser turrets on a train. I don't think you can, like, place turrets on a train. That would, wouldn't make any sense, I guess. Because the train doesn't have defense for itself. The artillery thing shoots long range, but my, uh, my train is actually getting killed at the stations, even though I have laser turrets. I feel like I probably need more laser turrets at the train stops that would protect the train while it's firing its artillery. So maybe I'll get some more laser turrets. And protect the train stops. Um, be using up these red circuits, though. Not slowed down by anything. Our green circuits are doing well. Our iron's getting to the end of the line. Okay. Um, having more red production would probably be good. Expanding my red production because I didn't actually make it like optimal. I'm making way more copper wire than I'll ever need. It's a little bit challenging, but what are we what are we making with all these red circuits? What is it? What are they being used by? It's over here. Um, the furnaces. The furnaces are not getting enough red circuits. Okay. And also, these productivity modules, or at least, yeah, productivity modules for the purple things. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. So I could, I could, I could definitely use increasing my red circuit production again. Um, which would use up more green circuits which we are kind of keeping up with now, just barely with our amount of copper. Although our copper, I think some of our burners aren't working because it's backed up a little bit. So it looks like now that I fix my iron or increase my iron production, I think I can get more red uh, circuit production. Let's get at least a couple more here then. All right, so. Keep like expanding this uh, coal line out every time I have to do this. These walls are no longer necessary. You are no longer necessary. Is there a way I could get this line all the way under? You know what? Maybe if I had the blue, the blue dudes, the blue um, underground belts. I should probably. My issue with getting the blue belt is that's going to use even more circuits, I think. Is that right? Those use red ones. Okay, that's just iron. It'd use a lot of iron is what it would do. Lubricant is not that big a deal, but it's iron that it uses a ton of. Tons and tons of iron if I want to get the blue things going. 
Wait, if I have to use the deconstruction planner for taking down walls like that. Deconstruction planner. Deconstruction planner. What is that? This guy? Is that like this? Oh! <laughs> okay, that, yeah, yeah, that's way better. Good call. Um, why aren't you guys picking those up? I have final disease. Okay. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> Good call. Good freaking call right there. Okay, I think I can get this to go under right here. Let me see. Okay. Um, again, I can use deconstruction, deconstruction planner, but, but whoa, that was lag. That was weird. Okay. So now if I go under here, I can increase, I can, uh, get this going. Okay, I can expand this without having to worry about this coal line anymore. All right. Uh, let's see here. Atomic bomb. 5,000 of all those research. Crazy. Stronger explosives. Physical projectile damage. Inserter capacity. Breaking force. Combat robotics. Um, I don't have the space packs for that yet. Weapon shooting speed. That would only really affect me, so that's not that useful right now. I think the logistics slots might be fairly useful. Deconstructing belts are the things that have a lot of items on them. Can be solo because the bots have to collect all the items. Okay, so it was good that I didn't have them do that. Let's do four, four more of these. Six more of these. Five, six. Five, six. Uh, I'm probably going to exhaust some resource by doing this, but we can uh, deal with that after. Actually, I could do one more of these guys. One more of you. There we go. Okay. Um, all right. There and then we do. Um, actually, you're supposed to go into that one too. You know what? I'm not going to worry about that. You get you get plenty of copper. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay. Shift, right click, left click, right left. Okay. And then we need a yellow from there. Oops. And there, there, and there. And then a red outputting. Oh, that's not right. Shift left. There we go. Somehow that just clicked somewhere. Okay, so that should be everything I need there. There, and then you're going to deposit here. All right, let's power this thing. Okay. All righty, let's see how much extra red circuits we get. How many extra red circuits we get, and also how many extra resources we start using up. Plastics and green circuits. Are you going? You're going. Plastics and green circuits are the two things that we can run out of while uh, making all the reds. All right, I can go get some speed modules and put them in there too. I'm just gonna use speed ones because I don't want to use up all of my circuits make, making more speed too. So if I do this. Two half 
to X here. She has speed ones. I'm gonna do shift quick with them on our bar. Uh, shift quick, control click, control. Ha, ah, there we go, much better. Okay, so let's see if our copper um, green circuits and plastics keep up with this. Looks like they're doing pretty good. Are all these guys working? Looks like they're all working. Nobody's nobody's not working. Oh, the plastics and green circuits might not quite be keeping up, though. Let me see. I might need to have an extra green circuit production thing. Maybe an extra plastics. Although, we banked a bunch of plastics, so we should have enough plastics. I wonder if I need to speed up this belt. I don't know if that'll help. Yeah, because these guys are currently not building. Hmm... Hmm. I have these plastics on the one side of the line so they can pull from the same line. Destroy the wall. Okay, they're attacking down there. That's fine. So I don't have enough plastics and green circuits now. Um, I mean, they're backed up on the line. So does that, does that mean a faster belt would fix this? A faster supply belt? I feel like I might want to try a faster supply belt to see what that does. Faster supply belt starting at where this full chest is injecting the plastics in here. So, there. I want to keep these on one side of the line though. Okay, that guy, I don't know if this will help, but I feel like it might have a chance at helping this. Okay, I could, I could do the upgrade module thing, I'm just going to do it this way, manual because it's fun, it's fun to do things manually. There we go. There's that, so I want to get the green circuits flowing here quicker too. So that would be starting at this splitter, getting them in there quicker. So, uh, you know what, let's just use the upgrade thing. Let's do it. Upgrade that, 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 all that. Okay, let's see. That looks like that did help some. Now the question will be, can my production keep up with it? I have a two-lane yellow feeding a half-red. Two-lane yellow. Uh, is there talking about this one? I mean, I'll upgrade all these. I don't know. Again, if production will keep up with all this anyway. Oh, you're saying the belts for green circuits shouldn't be necessary. Ah, eh, well, we get them upgraded, it's fine. Okay, that looks like that did help. Get uh, get the materials where they need to go. Now the question will be is can my plastic production keep up with this and my green circuit production? Oh, my copper's not gonna keep up, okay. Now these guys are not producing, but I have copper burners not working because of um, 
bottleneck. I wonder if I split this off again, if that would clear this up even more. Hmm. I need, I need more stuff on this line here. You know what? If I did this, this will prioritize copper getting to this line, I believe. And then it'll still split to the rest of the line here. Let's see if that if that does. Because currently I'm not getting all the copper I have down here fast enough. And I think it's because... Well, that might actually back it up even more. I'm still not getting the copper through. What if I, if I want more copper here... this go down to here and uh, throw this extra stuff on this line. That should make sure we get plenty of copper there. The question will be, will that take too much copper out of the rest of the system here? That definitely fixes the copper issue here. Now we have not enough copper there. So what if... <laughs> just, just spitballing here, just spitballing. What if we had this one go? Here. Um, it's not gonna do what I want it to do. Need more belts being the system as a whole. You have a lot of bottlenecks where it goes down to a single red belt. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a bottleneck. And I thought, I had it like this. Trying to prioritize getting these two belts to have more copper. But they're using up more copper than they're getting, and we're still... If I have these burners not working, these smelters not working, still too many bottlenecks. Um, so I only got two lines right here. I feel like I need to get a third line here to go down. Set priorities on splitters so they set bias to one side. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if I have this one go output priority to the right. Nope, I want it left. This can make this stuff get even less stuff. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like we have we have three belts outputting right here. This one right here is backing up. Is that getting enough copper? That's getting enough copper. So it's actually okay if that's backing up because it splits it right there. Well, that kind of fixes it. Just putting that priority there. Since this kind of gets balanced afterwards. And if I prioritize, what is this? This is the left side. The output left. I'm gonna prioritize that right there. Prioritize. Because that's where most of my copper is going, is these two things for all the green circuits. Could any of that make this these guys work? No. Um, it's two belts here. I kind of feel like I need a third belt right here because it doesn't get split till right there. Don't quite understand why it's backing up so much there. I guess because so much is coming from this side, it's filling up. Need to fold that bottom smelter output so that you're both using so both sides of the belt. This one, yeah. Um, fold it. How do I fold it with the space I have? If 
come out like that. I feel like that'll only work until this backs up again, but that might actually do it right there. Okay, that might fix it right there. Is that folding? Is that what folding means? I've never heard that term. That's a cool term. <laughs> Okay, that looks like that's working. These guys are now working. You can do it without a splitter. Yeah, I like spl I like splitters. <laughs> we'll just use a splitter. Okay, all right. Um, they are damaging stuff in. Okay, that's just all that stuff. Uh, copper. All right, so you guys are getting copper. So now if I want, if I need more copper in the system, I'll just have to add more copper smelters, which I have a lot of copper smelters. Am I getting enough copper to them? I am. Somehow we have enough copper for all this. Uh, you are out. Um, Okay. All right, our red production is, hey, our plastics and our greens are keeping up. That's great. Question is, how much plastic is in this old storage thing now? We are going, when this storage um, thing runs out, that might become an issue. Hopefully we'll pr produce enough plastics that eventually it'll back up again. I don't know if that will be the case. Coal. Ah, you know what? This inserter needs to be a fast inserter. Uh, where's our other plastics one? This guy, all right. Yeah, there we go. You're going. You're going. Great. Oh, no, they're destroying stuff. All right. We're on the left side here. Achievement unlocked Iron Throne. What did I just do for that? I don't know what gave me that achievement. Uh, yeah, I have a remote cop. This is my copper outpost. That's not most of my copper, what you just saw. This is most of my copper. 200k iron place per hour. Oh, nice. Hey, what's up, Zizith? How are you doing? Right, so did anything get destroyed? But yeah, that is definitely not most of my copper. That is just a small copper outpost. This is my, this is most of my copper here, which we are starting to mine out in some of it. Okay. Yeah, this is my major uh, copper outpost right here. Um, let me see. You guys aren't working just because it's the lines full. All right. Um, how about we move this wall up? You know what? Let's go, before I replace those, let's go clear out this thing where they keep attacking from. Your doom has arrived. Kill the big worms. The big worms. Prepare for destruction. You're doing aiming on quality and it's proper. I'm doing aiming on quality until it's properly done. What? What is that? I'm not sure I understand what you just said. <laughs> Looks like the outpost output belt is still saturated, so if you need more, you need another belt. Need more tank, Ran. <laughs> What's up, Tamak? Man, the tank can't keep up with me, dude. I mean, look. I got triple exoskeletons and three personal lasers. I am a tank. I'm, I'm a man tank. I'm a tank man. I'm my own tank. Who needs a tank when you are America? Laser America. You've asked, how are you doing? And you just answered. I'm doing aiming on quality until it's properly done. Okay. Well, I watched your videos, Ezith, on your... Um, what is that game called? Uh, your crazy build for... Um, uh, whatever that game is, that it's kind of like this game. 
that I can't remember the name of right now. And you, sir, build some crazy stuff. Um, it's saturated, and I'm okay with that because my my uh, my smelters are not not working so if i get to a point where my smelters are not all working because we don't have enough copper that's when i would think about changing this rim world thank you rim world that's the name of the game i hope i should have used the deconstruction too late okay okay and we would do like this Getting these weird lag displacement things. Okay. Give me the permission to post links. I'll show you what you're up to in Factory as well. Okay. Uh, is anybody able to permit? No, that is not what I want. That is not what I want. What I can do, though, is because I like splitters so much, let's do this. Okay. Thank you, Tamak. Your bro. Your bro, man. And we place my satellite back just down here if somewhere's good. Okay, and then replace my laser turrets. We'll do like we get to tack a decent chunk here. Do like one oh, not that many. that and wall this off Keep our wall all the way over to this thing here and I don't want them to go this although I have I have defense there so it's fine if they go through there so that's fine we'll double wall this uh, this is coming ant factory You know, your crazy builds, the second version learning from the mistakes of the old one. All right, let me check it out. Let's see. Oh, wow. You have... Oh, is that your mini-map that it's showing? You, you have crazy, like, planned builds. Oh, my God, that's insane. Wow, those train setups you have are just amazing. The depot, fastest speed. That's really cool, man. You know how to build. Way better than I know how to build. You just know how to build, man. You are a build master. Okay, power is still looking fine. I could add even more steam turbines and add six more. All right, um... Oh crap, we got we got smelters not working again. Oh, you're not getting copper. Well, okay, now we do need to get more copper. Why are we not getting copper? Because these lines are saturated. Is it because of the splitters? It's probably because of the splitters. You're getting enough copper. Um I don't have enough copper on this line to supply all these smelters. So what if I um, prioritize left side here? And then prioritize right here. So it fills up that middle one. No, you're not getting any stuff, but we'll see. This is probably where I would need to have more output lines from the origin. Now this is what, what you were talking about. If I had one extra output line, that would probably be enough. Okay, let me, um, yeah, let me do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to undo this priority, and I'm going to do this. Uh, 
to this. All I want you to be an underground belt. Oh, what is the distance on these things? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, okay. So let's do this. God, I wish I could start this in a different direction. Uh, where's that copper coming from? Oh, yeah, I have this other copper. <laughs> I have two remote copper things. I forgot. Well, I have two lines. Um, huh, let me see here. I forgot that I have multiple copper remote stations here. So that one's going there to feed that. You can place it in a different direction and rotate it. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. Um, this line is super saturated. What if I did something like... Um, got this line to do more of its stuff. If I used more of its stuff on this line. This line, uh, we can always swap that. We got lots of copper coming in. I'm going to make use of all of it. Let's see how this does. There we go. Well, this line is still not quite getting. Okay, there we go. It's starting to get there. All right, that's better. I think that's better. Does that saturate both lines now if I do that? Now this line is not going to be as saturated. Uh, looks like all my belts are getting copper now, though, so that's good. Okay, so I guess distributing an extra line there, an extra output line, means more of this copper is getting through our system, so that should be better. Okay, all right. Um, I did want to see if I could maybe improve this artillery train, and the way to do that would be at the train stops, I would need to add more laser turrets so that they can't kill my train, basically. So, um, is that what I want to work on? Let me go see how I can make that work. I'm hoping our rocket will launch today. If I place a bunch of turrets here, uh, I could place more. this side now. Okay, so we go one, two, three, four. Huh, even when they're not powered, they look at them. It's great. Okay. And we'll allow them to come over here. Okay. You know it's a good idea to store steam from reactors because uh, they don't have like fuel consumption regulation. You can just easily waste a ton of fuel. Um, I'm not worried about wasting nuclear fuel because of how much I have. But yes, I do know that you could put steam in tanks. And I actually have a little bit of tank uh, storage for my steam. I'll show you. I don't have a ton, but I have two tanks over here. They're not. It's really only this stuff here. I don't. They're not storing much. Um, and I don't really quite know how to use it. 
like any excess is going into here, maybe, but I don't know. Huh. So my performance is not as at, ma at its max. Why is that? Is it because I don't have enough steam? I mean, should I be piping all these here, I wonder? Like, is there excess coming out of here that we're not using? Regularly, the nuclear stations are built in a way that they store steam in tanks and feed the reactors with fuel only if steam goes below a certain level. So it's this uh, store steam in tanks. So I guess I should actually have tanks between here and the turbines then is what it sounds like I should be doing. Um, I don't actually know if this does anything. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, I haven't optimized. I don't have it. It's not optimized for this run. There's <laughs> optimization is something I I'll have to work on next my next run through because I am still learning this run. Uh, still learning this. Uh, still learning so much about the game this run. So probably what I'll do is next time I play, which would be after my next status, when I'm trying out Satisfactory, would be um, attempting to um, use builds from other people and kind of start actually copying some builds or using other builds as guides. So I make more efficient and less crappy builds, basically. Hey, nice. They made it to me all the way out here. Thanks, bros. Uh, so where would they attack? With this wall here. Like wall off this right here. And wall off this here. Might try to go up this way. They might try to go this way. Look why I put a couple turrets here. And that's protected. If they go through here, we got turrets there. All right, let's hope with this more protection. Um, I can actually have my artillery tank going again. So I picked up my locomotive there. And why are we not getting fuel? This thing is not getting coal for some reason, whatever reason. Put all the coal I have on me. I don't know why. My coal must be getting used up wherever it's being supplied from, so I'll have to check into that. Where I use solid fuel. I don't think I want to use solid fuel for this. All right, artillery tank, or artillery, whatever it's called, wagon, engine units. And then monitor the amount of steam divided by some number, don't remember which one, and then program the insert or load next fuel only if it's below max. Interesting. So I might be wasting uranium fuel cells but I'm not worried about it because we have so much uh, uranium fuel so it's not a huge deal for us all right so coal and where are my engine units being made pretty sure I have engine units yeah right here how many do I need 20 something yeah, let's pick up these guys Five more. There we go. Coal is not the best fuel for trains. If boss, 
if possible, feed them with rocket fuel or even better, nuclear cells. But cells fuse good too. I can fuel them with nu with these. Well, I mean, I got plenty of these. Let me actually go look at my um, my uranium processing over here because we got lots of fuel. You guys are working. We got uranium two thirty five for days. All right, I got I got so much. Check in recipes. No, nope, the special fuel made from those. Oh, okay. Nuclear fuel. Oh gosh, that takes rocket fuel. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, we're making the rocket fuel for... I'm using the rocket fuel on this, and I don't want to slow down... I would have to... I actually probably want to increase my rocket fuel production. Because um, rocket fuel takes forever to make. How are we doing on my fluids over here? Hey, we're actually banking a little light oil. Nice. Yeah, I think I want to, I do want to, well, for one thing, I haven't put speed modules in all these, so control there. Okay, that'll help that. I put twos on there. That's a three and a one. And your chemistry plan is just a nightmare, honestly. <laughs> I know, I know. A lot of the stuff I built is a nightmare. Um... The reason I like to use um, coal for the train is because coal is like the lowest priority of a resource I'm using for other other stuff. It's not used, all it's used in is like plastics and stuff. I always have plenty of coal. I think I, I'm just gonna use coal. I know you say it's the worst, but I'm gonna use that. Uh, so let me get a passive provider chest here. I'm just going to pull it off this line, get a two stacks of coal. That'll actually start supplying the train. Yeah, you can only suggest advice. I mean, again, if I were playing completely optimally, I would probably be overflowing with solid fuel and rocket fuel and all that stuff. My, my, my refineries is such a mess that I, there's no way I can optimize this. I'd have to completely rebuild it all. And ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Our copper's backing up here now. Um, I think I can help with that. Um, got two lines here. If I made um, this line start up here, let me see here. Let me try doing that underground thing rotating you were talking about. So I want this to go the other direction. How do I? I want it to start with the output here. How do you do that? I don't, maybe you can't do that. Uh, is this a solid fuel supply? You supply your steam engines? Uh, my steam engines. Yeah, this solid fuel supplying my steam engines up here. But it's kind of split to give me the rocket fuel here, too. Let's see here. Uh, if I had this line go over. Okay, let me do this. Oh, my God. Freaking yard work on today. On today. Yard work on today. Uh, no. Okay, 
Let's see if I can do this. Okay, and does that allow me to do what I want to do? I think so. Uh, maybe. So I'm going to go from there all the way down to there. That's one, two spaces short. Um, let me see here. Okay, so if I turn this earlier, there, and I still need one more space. Can I move this up one? <clears throat> I actually think I could. If I move this up one, grab off of there, up there, okay, let me try this. So I move you over here. I'm going to move you up to there. And I'll put here. And then power you. And then we're doing this. To there we go. Okay. There we go, and then instead of a splitter here, we go like this. Like that, like that. There. And... I don't want this to feed that way. So basically I want three lines. So this one's going out to that one, this one's going to that one, and then I would want this one go to this one and that's side loading which I don't want it to do um, what if I have a splitter here to distribute this nah it doesn't quite work So this one's backing up here. How can I um, do that? What if I had this guy instead of here? It's here. Splitter here. I don't know if that's any better. Um, so I've got most of these working, except these ones are backed up now because this little thing here. I need to get rid of that. Why not supply trains with solid fuel as well? Because I've had issues where I run out of solid fuel. My solid fuel production is not as overflowing as it might look. Um, so I, I, I always worry about running out of solid fuel. I've had too many times where before I had nuclear power and solar power set, power set up, I would go through all my solid fuel really fast. It's not an issue as much anymore, but I still just worry about that. Wow, that is a lot of my copper things not going because of this little uh, bottleneck right here. How can I fix this? Like all these guys. This right here is a bottleneck. Um, I don't know if I can fix this with the space I have here. How's, how's my copper looking down in my system? If I have enough copper, I guess I don't need to worry about it, but... Okay, looks like we have enough copper. We're not using up as much copper as we are producing at the moment, so... Hey, our reds are backing up. That's a great thing. Okay. All right. What was I working on? <laughs> I don't know what I was working on. Uh, are my reds getting down to over here? Yes. Okay. Great. 
All my research is good except for my yellows. And my yellows are missing. Oh. Flying robot frames. For the longest time, I was overflowing in flying robot frames. Apparently, we're not overflowing in those anymore. Uh, so I need to like create more flying robot frames. Could I actually do that from right here? I could actually get another flying robot frame thing going here, right here. Um, if I was able to put one right in this little space here, I could do it. Uh, let's see, let me make a yellow assembly machine, and where can I fit it? If I have this iron turn up here, I'll have space, so let's do that. Um, I probably am going to want an underground thing here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put... Oh, I have six of these? Holy crap, I did not know I had all these. That right there. Shift right, left. Blue and blue. And then we can do red output here. Underground belt here. Okay, nice. So that will double that production. Double our robot frame production. Um, and let's do... I guess just speed module ones on this. Okay. All right. How's our rocket coming? 72%. All right. We're going to launch a rocket today, boys. Does it, like, give you some, like, pop-up? Like, you've won the game once you get uh, your rocket launch. You know, stone is only on one side of the belt. Stone bricks. I feel like I don't want it to be only on one side of the belt. So really quickly, just as a random thing, we'll do that. That way we'll use up more of our stone, have more of a bank of stone bricks. All right, combat robotics. There's a pop-up. You won the game. Great. Um... <laughs> uh, Trash lots. You know, let's do this one. That'll save us some yellows and also increase our speed. Let our yellows get caught up some here. Uh, why are the rob... That's on the wrong side. You... Why is it mixing up there? Um, because of this. I need these to be on the right side. Damn it. Okay. Uh, okay, we could do that if I put a belt. Leather belt. There. Might need some space here. Okay. So I need it to be on the... Which side do I need it to be? On the right side. So... That's what I wanted to do. Okay. All right. Uh, these robot things that are mixed up on the wrong side, they'll get fed through. So this is fine for now. So that'll, that'll fix itself. So now they're all coming on the right. S no, that's the wrong side still. That's the wrong side. Damn it.
There. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, all right. I'm sure there's a better way to do that, but I don't care. I don't care. All right. So again, that'll fix itself. That'll fix itself. All right. Um, let me actually put these robot frames I have in here. Two in there. Okay, there we go. So I'll make you grab low density structures, which will pull off the robot frames eventually. Yeah, that'll fix itself. Okay, cool. And we got yellows banking up. Cool. All right, here we go. Yellow science. Yeah, yellow science takes processing units, robot frames, and low density structures. Aren't you playing this, Zizith, or are you playing an older patch? Because if you're playing this, you would you would know all those things that it takes, right? Maybe it's an older version that you're you were all your other builds are playing on. Okay. Yeah, I kind of do want to increase rocket production, but I want to get this um, artillery train back set up. You play 1.17, but you haven't played it casually because you'd be bored if you played it casually. Like those other filthy casuals like me. I'm such a filthy casual. All right, good. This is protecting this. So now they should not be able to get to our um, artillery train here. Wow, they are, they are flinging themselves here. Is that an extra turret or two here? Okay. Okay. I feel like this is enough protection here. So let's do this. There we go. Get our artillery shells. All right, now I need to add the stations to all this again. Uh, all right. So basically what I was doing was having it stop at each station for 30 seconds. So freedom train, 30 seconds, then so station one, 30 seconds, station two, 30 seconds, three, four, and five. No, no, no. Uh, exit that one. Five. Thirty seconds. Okay. So now it should go to these different places and fire at things if it's got the range. Alright. Uh, let me go put laser turrets at these other stations. So that when it stops, it doesn't get blown up. So like right here, some more poles. Okay. This is probably the station to get wrecked at the most right here, because I know they attack over here a lot. I believe you can just name all the stations by the same name. It'll still visit them all down the line, but this is theory. could be wrong. Hmm. Interesting. I might uh, have to try changing that if I have another line like this. Okay, so we'll go like wall right about here An attempt to protect the train here um, I don't know that this would do it oh wait you can put gates on these can't you I think you told me you can do gates on these does the gate work with the train I thought somebody told me you could put gates on on that. I don't know how that how that was supposed to work. 
Do this test right away and I'll tell you the results. Okay. Could and sometimes should put gateways before the train. How would I do that? There's not like an underground rail, is there? Make him hit them hard on full speed. <laughs> okay. I was going to say. Uh, it doesn't let me put him there. Alright, so station over here. Actually, you know what? I should just use a big pole here. A big pole. Got to me a big pole. Okay. I need to get more turrets. Four, we'll say, is enough here for now. If I get the walls protecting it, which I need more walls. Alright, need more walls. Yeah, I really want to increase the uh, artillery firing range. Alright. Bring me walls. My guy's not going to bring me walls. Here we go. All right. Lab research speed finished. 500 yellows. I want to go light on the yellows right now if it's at all possible. 300. Let's do that. Not really using combat robotics, but here come the walls, I think. Uh, here they come. They bring them like four at a time. Hmm. Really? Is that really how much they can carry? Sure, they can carry more than that at a time. Yeah, good thing I put a lot of logistics robots in there. So you're only four at a time. All right, there we go. We got my walls. Okay, all right. To wall this off. Oh, but I didn't grab extra turrets. Call that good. If they go around, they'll be close to getting in range of those anyway. Train do indeed visit all stations named the same way down the circle. You just have to double the waiting condition. That's all. Interesting. Okay. That's good to know. All right. I need turrets before I go to this next place. Look at all that solar power. Look at all that nuclear power. Okay. Do uh, where are my turrets at? Where are my turrets at? <laughs> All right, reds are backing up. Everything's backing up. It's great. We've got more supplies than we're using. I love to see that. All our copper things are being or are, are working at at full speed. Uh, this seems like a susceptible area right here. Make sure I got a couple turrets here. Just so it's not too vulnerable. We got protection there. These guys are going to shoot that. Okay. Um, again, a couple turrets just to be safe since I added this extra refinery here. Okay. Alrighty, and the station over here. 
So Tilder is tearing doesn't seem to be doing much right now. Hopefully it'll eventually uh, kill things as they come in range. Do I have a big pole over here? I do. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right. Get like five turrets here. Something like that. Okay. And your range is out here, so we'll do shift click here. Okay, nice. I think that's uh, pretty good. Wow, they chop. They like instantly chop trees. I wish I chop chop trees that fast. Use at the last of my wall just to go like that. Okay. Uh, and then one more station down at the bottom, which they're currently running by over there. So where are my walls at? I'll just grab my walls. Uh, oh, yeah, they're over here. Whoops. Okay. And hopefully, once I, uh, Whoa, wow, they are attacking pretty hardcore. I probably need to see about getting rid of some of these things down here. All right, our protection's good, though. Um, they are getting attacks on this. Is this in range of a repair? Yeah, they're actually able to repair that, so that's good. Um, but let's do this. This will be an extra line of defense here as well. Such dramatic music. So dramatic. Oh no, the aliens are coming to get us. Oh, Tita. Okay, and those guys can reach out there. Good. So, uh, yeah, do something like this. Okay, there we go. And maybe double wall it out here. Not bad. Okay, so we got an artillery train going. It's more protected than the last time. I hope it doesn't die again like the last time. Alrighty. Um, are there any? Is the artillery? That's probably the only like long range weapon to like. Oh, there are artillery turrets. I could make some artillery turrets, but with the train going around, I guess what I could do is does this thing take power, shooting speed, energy consumption. This thing does not take energy. So I could actually place a turret, put some shells in it, and have it shell some dudes at long range. That sounds kind of interesting. Uh, no, I think it only fires when it stops. Holy crap, there's a lot of dudes coming. Uh, my laser charts are doing work, though. Uh, he, he did destroy one of my, my construction robots. Is there a way to see how many robots I have in my system? Um, is there like a... Is 
there a way to see how many robots I have? I don't know if there's like a robo. Let's move, move it over to one of the robo ports. Oh, there we go. Um, well, it shows how many I have over each one in each one. It's not telling me how many I have in all of them. I don't think. Well, I kind of spread out. Hey, what's up, bird brain? I feel like I want to put a bunch more construction robots in here, uh, which I currently have 34 on me. I need some of these robot frames. Are we banking those again? Nice. Take half of these guys. Now it's the low density structures that we're running out of. <laughs> well, I can't really increase that production anymore. I've made a ton of those. So. Anytime we do yellow research, we use up a lot of those. All right, so. Let's do 20 more of those guys. At the bottom of the window, what window are you talking about? When I mouse over, I see, to the right of the screen, five robots showing up there. And that's just what's in there. Circuit network? No. Is there another window I'm not seeing? Uh, connect a drone station with pole and set read the drone counts or something like that. Connect a drone station with a pole? Mouse over the robot port and look at the bottom of the info window. Oh, 59 logistics, two construction, number of available robots. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I need a lot more than that. Okay. There we go. I just maxed out my... So I can actually max out the number of robots I have access to. I should do that. So I need like 12 more logistics ones, it looks like. So 5, 10, 11, 12, and then I just maxed out my construction ones. Okay. Well, actually, I don't know what the maximum number is. I guess each robo port has a, ma a number of storage slots. So that's, okay, that's just saying how many can get there. The, okay, so it's not actually a maximum. Well, that's fine. I, I don't mind having extra logistics robots in there. Maybe I'll take a few. Take a few. I like that. I want to have the extra construction robots though. Five, ten. You had like a thousand of them. There's no max number. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yours has six thousand logistics and three thousand construction. Holy crap! That's a lot of robots. Uh, running out of iron. Okay, so I need to. Why aren't you? Oh, okay. We're not getting uh, all of our burners going. This iron. Okay. Okay. I think I need to uh, do kind of what I do with my copper and get another line of iron through here. Um, well, it's saturated. I might want to actually get another another external iron mine going. They're all pretty far away though. 6.2K there, not much at all. It's a pretty good chunk right there. If I wanted to get that iron, I think I do want to do that actually. I think I'm gonna need Plenty of iron, so let me go get some extra red belts. Let me get uh, make a bunch of mines. Just do all of them. Red belts. Take all those guys. We're gonna expand our iron mining. Uh, We've been, I've been thinking we would probably need to do this eventually anyway. 
You believe only one network can operate a thousand robots? I don't know, man. I definitely have no good input on this. Okay, so if I were to do that, looks like it would be extending out for our copper ore. Oh, they're about to attack our train station up here. Let's see. Let's see if they can hold it off. Hey, there's our artillery firing, though. Here they come. Let's see how well our defenses do. Pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. All right. Uh, while we're over here, let's see if any iron things are mined out. Yeah. Okay. Any other mined out ones? Looks like no. So let me get. Um, do that. Okay. All of yours are being used when you start a big project. It's not sure that there is a limit. That's pretty crazy. Um, a lot of you guys are actually not doing anything, but our, our belt is saturated here. So what I want to do is get a second saturated belt, basically, is what I want to do. So we're going to go clear out dudes around that. I got eight light laser turrets. Hopefully that'll be enough. Might check on uh, my copper mine uh, next. Uh, let me big things over here. We'll start it right here. There we go. And when you zoom in, these aliens are actually a lot scarier because they're they looks they're just so much bigger. <laughs> Ow! Ow! So big, man. Okay, and one more uh, outpost down here. Uh, let's clear out a couple of these guys. Or a bunch of these guys. Get wrecked by my lasers. You're just puny, punny, puny, punny. I'm not sure which, uh, there's a lot of copper. Holy crap. Now if I need more copper, we got some, we got some, uh, nice deposits out here. I am not punny. I take exception to that remark. But puny, maybe. I could be considered puny. I'm a small guy. Despite how large I look on screen. Just kidding. I don't think I look large on screen. Hey, there's a beach. What a lovely beach. Wow, I should have built my base around the oasis. I'm actually really looking forward to doing another playthrough of this. After I play Satisfactory, who knows how long a playthrough I'll do on that. I really want to do a playthrough where I... I might want to increase... I have even more research, resource, pa resource, pass, resource patches and plan my base out much better so it's much less spaghettification if i can was one of those guys bigger than a big uh a big worm i don't know there, there's things bigger than big worms i look like 180 centimeters on camera uh i'm five seven so i don't know what 100 cent 180 centimeters are but i'm five seven that is my that is my height I'm just going to clear out, like, all these things that I can in range of. 
So while I'm out here, make a good cleansing. Call the exterminator. Okay. America, we don't use centimeters and stuff because we're dumb. Because America, because freedom. Okay, wow, well, there's a couple of big. Oh, that's some big uh, outposts or big uh, nests, infestations, whatever you want to call it out here. Still fairly tall because 5'7 is 170. It's not fairly tall in America, especially not in Texas. In Texas, I am. I don't know what the. I wonder what for the world the average heights are. I thought I read somewhere like. Male average height in the world is like five eight or five nine. I don't I don't know if that's right. So that would make me slightly below average in height. I could be wrong. Hundred eighty six or something is uh, average height in the world. Yeah, so I'm below average in height. The lasers are pretty strong. Oh yeah, they're pretty strong. They're pretty strong. This guy just melt get melted All right, I'm gonna go get this last one down here maybe these last two and then head back up and uh, get that iron mine next iron mine going and for women it's I don't know like five five or six or something is the average height over the world or maybe it's shorter than that I don't I don't actually know but nobody wants to be shorter than average. <laughs> Sadly, I am slightly shorter than average. I always wished I was I was taller as a kid. I'm sure most people wish that, except really tall people. So then they have to deal with, you know, having a hard time getting in cars and stuff. Are there any other fun weapons of war you can unlock? Oh, I've used the tank a bunch. Um, I'm purposefully not using the tank because I think it's actually, I think it's slower now. With three exoskeletons to increase my move speed and these laser turrets, I just kill much faster with my body. I kill faster with my body. There is an atomic bomb, so I think I have to research that. Atomic bomb. 5,000 of all the research. I don't really want to use up all my research for that right now. Um, stronger explosives. I could use like more grenades and stuff. Nuke them, Rico. <laughs> Energy weapon damage is the one I'd really like to do, but that takes space packs, and I haven't got any of those yet. I'm going to do a uh, train upgrade here for now. Maybe maybe by the end of today we can uh, play with some nukes. Oh, you are not within repair range of logistics of a construction robots. I should probably change that. Let me make a robo port here. Nuclear missile explodes the same way as nuclear reactor, but maybe they altered that. I don't know. We can test it. Uh, where'd that robot port go? Okay. Yeah, here we go. So optimally, it would be there. Let's do it. Let's put it there, and then we can move our laser charts out. Right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Okay, we'll move these laser turrets out. Uh, deconstruction planner. There. What is that? Oh, it's charging. Huh, it has to charge, apparently. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. And we'll actually have uh, 
Leisure shirt's all on the bottom side of this thing here. So we'll go like, have these a little more spread out. Like that. Yeah, that'll work. Now if I just power these things. Uh, nuclear missile, uh, you're not sure it's charging because there are no poles near it. It is charging. This pole wasn't near it. I had to put that, put that pole there. But, okay. All right. So iron. We wanted to get iron. So let's get this iron mine set up over here. Yeah, it wasn't for a bit, but uh, I fixed that. All righty. The good thing is... My artillery train is not getting blown up anymore. It was it was getting blown up. Uh, it got blown up at the end of the stream last time. Haven't used the trains yet. Will they run over you in your tracks? Apparently, yes. I have yet to have that happen, but apparently it will do that. Okay. Give me turrets. I only have three turrets. I, I will want to get more turrets. But let's get our iron mine set up first here. Every patch of iron here. That's a cliff. Okay. There. Okay. So I'm going to have this go, so I can add to it, I'm going to have it go down, and I can have it kind of snake around, so it's going to be like this. There, and that'll go out. And then we have this go like this. There we go. Okay. Uh, one more big pole. Oh, crap, that's not... <laughs> yeah, have it go out the back. That is not what I wanted. We want power poles behind there. That's why I left the space. And then we do this. I probably want to get even more uh, mines here. So what I'll probably do is go get turrets and add some, and add do extra mines over here. Okay. Uh, let me put the laser turrets first of all, so we have some protection. Just a few. Hopefully these will be enough uh, until I come back with more laser turrets. do a wall there. All right, that should buy us time, hopefully, while we go get these uh, things across. So I needed to feed in down there, so I'm going to go probably across. Let's just go. Let's start straight across and kind of see where we go. So That's not where I want you. Really? Really? I guess I did want you there. No. There. What? What are you doing? There. Thank you. And you know what? I don't want to do this right on the line of this because I'll keep running into that. All right, so I'm going to need a lot of red belts. Do, 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 
do. I want to see that train do some work. What's its range? Uh, you can actually see it on the map. You see this big red circle? This is where the train is. This big red circle is the range. So they have to spawn in a decently close range to your to your base. So like they can almost fire on those guys. What I might want to do is have little tracks that like go out a range and then come back or something. That way you can have uh, a further distance. It can kind of clear and I don't have to do a even larger circle. Maybe just have like outposts for it to go to or something like that. That might be interesting. Okay, let's use uh, some underground belts here to cover more space. Okay, let's see here. Where am I going to go with this? I have a long way to go. I almost wonder if it's better to inject this into my other line, but I wanted a second line on purpose, so... Probably not. Let's actually do a gate here, since I'll be I'm sure coming through here. Yeah, that's how I wanted to do the gate. There we go. So I guess we'll just go kind of down this way and across. All right, so out of those belts. Is that all getting through there? Uh, I think something, nope, it is. Okay, good. Okay, so there's the iron getting to here. So now I need more belts uh, to get it down. Uh, actually, I probably want to turn down here. I want to go down this way and across, so I'm not messing up all this stuff. So yeah, he's currently right here. Actually, he's here. Well, he might have been ranged. He might have taken some pot shots there. Well, I'll have to take a look at it uh, again when he gets in range there. Let me grab all of those and all of those. Keep an eye for it actually um, doing its thing. Okay, so I'm going to go down right here. So we do a little turn here. And then back to these guys. Now here's a question I've kind of wondered about for a while. Is it more efficient covering, covering long distance to use Long distance belt, I mean the um, underground belts or regular belts? Is it more efficient resource wise? All right, so we got it there. Where is my iron? Where's my smelting? It is here. So I want to get the line maybe right over here and then inject it up here. Underground belts, you believe, cost more. Okay. Okay, so hopefully we can get through. Got a lot of stuff packed in here. Um, let's go like right through here. Hopefully we can make it across some of these longer, longer distance things. I don't know if I can make across that far with an underground belt. I guess we'll find out. Costs the same, but they transfer stuff the same. 
You mean at the same speed? Uh, I'm not going to be able to get across that, am I? Let's see here. I really need to get something off of this so I can put... Okay, let's take the accumulators off. Put the underground belts here. Not quite, but if I do an underground belt here, I can do this. So let's do that. So we go underground, underground, so that this can reach there. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, I wanted to grab more turrets too. Now, can I get across here? Again, if I use an underground belt, I think I can. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to need to go, like, right across there. So, do this. Distance-wise, hopefully this will work. So this is the space I want clear, so bam, bam, and which direction is this going? It's going down. Bam, bam. Nice. All right. Here we go. Okay. We almost there? We're almost there. Uh, I believe it'd be better to build a station there and transfer all that ore by train. Probably, but <laughs> I don't know. Trains to me are a little bit of a pain because you gotta you gotta provide them fuel and all this other stuff. I mean, I guess it's not that big a deal, but yeah, it would be more efficient. I'm sure you're right. I like belts, though. I don't know why. I just like belts. Is there any space I can do it? Two space thing here. I could if I change this. Output there. Belt there. There, and then I can get through right there. Although I should have done that right here because I'm already in line with that. So that's what we'll do. Okay, so now I can maybe get, well, because of this underground thing, I might not be able to reach there. Yeah, one space off. All right, fine, then we'll go to here. Okay. You're a belt noob? Well, you're definitely not a train noob. There we go. Okay, so here's the iron. Now, I need to inject it into our mining. So... Um... If I have this belt, maybe meet this one so we can have like a splitter thing going. And once I do this, I can actually do more melt, uh, iron smelting as well. Currently, you guys are not working because uh, you're actually not able to output your stuff. So for a while, we were not getting enough iron. Anyway, still, we still want to do this. Um, I guess I could inject it later on in the system, because this is where most of the iron needs to go. Let's do that. Let's let's get it over here and have a splitter. So we're gonna do something like um, like this. We're gonna output priority right, and then are any of you guys out? You're out. You're almost out. You're out. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So let's put it, if I have it run into that right there, I just have it go like right through here. Let's keep using underground belts just because it feels neater. Let's go to right there. Oh, I did. Oh, crap. I did not mean to pick up that. You're, that happened instantly. Holy crap. All right, what was this centrifuge doing? Uh, I think it was doing the same as this guy. So let's just. There. Okay. Whoops. Sorry, game. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. All right. Uh, belt here, and we'll do an underground right there there and okay we have just injected more iron into our system um, so I could increase my uh, smelting now if I need to which right now we're not even using all of our smelters but that's okay let me grab laser turrets. I need to take my first break, but I'm gonna go make sure that other um, area I just made is protected and like when I'm AFK, I don't get everything destroyed. Don't like my new mine gets destroyed or something. So I'm gonna take half of these guys. I have a lot of iron ore on me. Um, so now what I can do is this whole thing was a control click. There we go. Nice. I can do the same with the stone. Nice. That's a great way to empty your uh, stuff that you've picked up. So this is supposed to be sulfur storage, I think. Yeah. I'm making enough sulfur. Oh, our plastics are running out. Okay. We're running out of petroleum. Okay, I think we can turn on one of our uh, light oil to petroleum cracking things now. This one's going. Let's turn on this one. This that's what this one was doing. Balancing our fluids is a. It sounds kind of gross when I say that, but. Okay, that's. So I turn two cracking things back on. Hopefully that will balance our plastic. Because I think what happened was we ran out of the plastics in here, that storage. And so, oh, wow, our red just got really cut off because our plastics. I'm going to need to increase my plastic production, looks like. And anytime I need to increase something over here, it's like, oh, my God, how am I going to do it? All right, let me go place turrets and walls at the iron mine. And then uh, we'll take a short break, and then we'll come back and maybe try to increase our plastic production. <laughs> Time for the chair stream to start. You know, it's funny, Tamak, because last night, Shogi and um, Firehawk were basically... They were in my stream, only chatting about chair and... Oh, what was it? Shogi... Shogi doesn't like chair, and Firehawk thinks chair's awesome. So, Shogi was saying stool was the real, the real hero. Stool was the real hero. You were the, they were there for the beginning of it. Okay. There we go. He's like, why, why, why are these the discussions that happen on Twitch and my stream? Uh. Okay. Uh, I did want to make a few more mines. Let's do like 10 more. Break force. Is there like, is there any che more cheap research? Not really. Flamble, like research for stuff I don't use. You may have started it. <laughs> you might have started it. 
Okay, so first things first, get more turrets. Make sure we're protected from like the top here. I will neither confirm or deny my involvement in chair and stool debates. Okay, so we're going to do this. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll do one more like here and hope they don't come from that side. It's probably the least likely direction they'll come from. So that means that that's the direction they'll come from. Okay. Cool, and then walls above these guys. Indeed. The only thing I will say is that there may have been some quote one involved. <laughs> All hail Lord Chair. Is that, is that the first quote of the stream? Fittingly. All right, there we go. Let me, um, I placed the mines. I did not place the mines. Place the mines. Nice. That's a super close up. Okay, so we are going to have iron for day, and now what we want to do is we want to right outside the mine. Get that going on both sides. There we go. That should make it stop backing up so these uh, guys will be going. So we completely saturate this line. There we go. So I'm going to save it. We're going to take a short break. The real stream could start for a bit. Enjoy your chair stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. If anybody new to the stream, please hit the follow. I'll be back in just a minute, my friends. Thanks for hanging out, guys. The quote's over two years old now. <laughs> I'm sure it's older than that. Just We just finally quoted it two years ago. Chair looks a bit racist to me. He does live in Texas. <laughs> Chair is racist against stools. That's, that's what I learned yesterday. Racist against stools. The stools are trying to steal Chair's job. All right, let's go see if we can increase plastic production. Plastics production. We should have plenty of iron for a while. 
Oops, that one wasn't done. Um, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. No, keep grabbing the one I don't want to grab. Go. You're not done. You're just never able to get stuff. Okay. All the rest of you guys are... Yep, you're done. You're just about done. All right, I think what I'll do is these random mines just clear out this stuff. Just finish that up. Nope. We'll get one right there. And so that I will distribute itself, I'll just have it go like right down. There. That'll that'll finish pretty quickly, so we can come uh, clean that up later. Okay. So I guess what you'd want to do with these heat exchangers is do something like put a tank right there. Like we're not banking any steam right now. So if I were to put this. here and then have the steam turbine after it. I feel like that's probably what you're supposed to do. But maybe uh, in my next playthrough, I'll be able to do uh, more efficient um, uh, more optimized nuclear reactor setups. Okay, so plastic production, how do I increase this? First of all, we make sure our current ones are running at capacity here. Petroleum. Are we really not producing enough petroleum? I got three things cracking light oil into petroleum. How's that enough? Not enough petroleum. Well, do I need to do more crack in here? Because our light oil is going up or down. Let me see. I guess I can look at that uh, production. Producing 3.7k light oil. Consuming 4.5k light oil. So we're... We're using more than we're producing on light oil. Petroleum, I think we're using more than we're producing. It's just... We don't have any banked up, so it's kind of skewed. Hmm. Do I need another... Oil refinery, maybe. We're maxed out on crude oil. I think I might need to do another oil refinery, actually. Okay. Um, where can I fit another oil refinery? One of these days, I'm gonna have another playthrough where I can actually just put oil refineries next to each other and then have the tubes all lined up. <laughs> this is such a cluster. Oh, this is such an absolute mess of a system. All right. Um, I could put one like right up here. I get water up of here and actually have the crude oil going. Ah, the crude oil is supplying this flamethrower turret. That's right. That has probably hardly ever done anything. You know what? I don't even think we get attacked up here anymore. I'm just going to get rid of that. Sorry, flamethrower turret. You're not really doing anything. I think at this stage of the game, you have you have a few oil refineries. I have like f four. How many do I have? 
I have one, two, three. I have four. But we're still not making enough petroleum and light. Like, I think we're still consuming more than we're using. It's certainly true for light oil, and I think it's true for crude oil. I mean, for petroleum. So I think we just need to uh, increase that production again. So... If I were to put one up here, uh, that was such a mess. Um, I could possibly put one right here. I got water, crude oil can come down. I get rid of some of the light oil tank, light oil tanks. Oh, you think I do need more? Okay, yeah, I agree. Well, you know what? Let's do what I should have done at first and like make a, an area where I can add more in a semi-efficient manner. So what we're going to do is get the crude oil out here. Oh, man, Pie Boy with the 12 months, man. Unsub, unsub. No, that's no. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? Thank you so much for your continued randomness, my friend. Appreciate that. Yeah, we do that. There we go. So that's water. That's crude oil. Let's like make two refineries. And see if we have enough crude oil to supply those. Uh, and we'll actually have a line that we can do here and we'll actually move these over a little bit too so like right here there okay refinery there we go so we do one uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll have it go off one space so that i can reach them Twelve months of Pepe sub feels good, man. Man, if you think it feels good for you, how do you think I feel? It's awesome, man. Really appreciate it. Okay, so do that. This is probably more like how other builds are done. You know, builds that are not terrible. Like mine. There. There and there. And there. Okay. All right, and then we inject it into our system here. Which um, light oil can go across that way. There, there, there. There we go. All right, so there's light oil into our system, petroleum. Uh, if I have a connect right there, that'll be in our system, I believe. There we go. Okay, glad I made all these underground pipes. There we go, bam, bam. Ah, the water, the water, okay. Um, I can fix that. Like that, there we go. All right, so that should be petroleum into our system. Let's see here. Where's the first tank that we connect to? Like this one. OK. 
Okay. And then heavy oil. Heavy oil is the one that I feel like we might overdo, but I don't think so because we're doing turning into lubricant and we're cracking it into light oil, I think, somewhere. Oh, turning into heavy fuel. Uh, I mean, heavy, uh, solid fuel should be fine. Okay, so. This guy. Let's actually go down one space. So we go here, 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 there. There. Okay, there we go. So I, I don't know if I increased it enough, but let's look at, if we give it a minute and then look at our production, we can take it. Take a look. Your build is great, man. It's actually impressive how you have worked things out. <laughs> Ten refineries, one heavy to light chem plants, three light petroleum chem plants. Very well balanced setup. That will crack everything into petroleum instead of heavy to light chem could put heavy to lubricant. Well, I mean, my system, it's, it's a big cluster is what it is, but it's somehow actually functioning decently efficiently. Decently efficiently. Um, None of our liquids are really backing up except maybe lubricant. But that's not really a big deal because as long as our heavy oil is not backing up, since we're using it in other places like cracking that, cracking it and solid fuel, we're doing pretty good here. Um, we should be getting pretty close to... Uh, Rocket uh, launch, I believe. All right. Fluid production. Let's see what we got here. Uh, not, not five seconds, one minute. All right, 7.5K petroleum. 7.2K being used. Cons production slightly ahead of consumption. What about light oil? 4.9 produced. 4.4 consumed. That's good. Heavy oil, heavy oil is the one that might start backing up a little bit, but I have a couple tanks, so I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, now the question is, will my plastic production get caught up now that I've done that, or do I need to increase my plastics production? That's really the question for me. All right, so that's good. Oh, they actually destroyed a turret up there. Damn, I probably need to increase my turrets up there. Still a little, a little slower than it could be. What about my other plastic one? I have one more. Where is it? This one. So that one's good. This is the only one that's slightly slow, and it's because I think the... Uh, Oil refineries I set up are a little bit further away, so it takes a little bit longer for the petroleum to get over there. Speed module on this. Do I have twos on me? No. Hey, what's up, Frank? The survivor, how are you doing? It works. Yes. That's the mantra, right? If it works, it works. And it's working. All right, we lost the laser turret up here. I think I was at one of the train stops, so I... I was thinking I would probably need to increase that number of turrets anyway. Yeah, let's do that. A um, couple more gates. <laughs> yes, that's where I wanted to put those gates. How did you know, game? How did you know? Okay. Right. Fix those. All right. Um, it's a lot of spitters is why we lost one there. So let's just add like... Wow, that got pretty close here, too. I probably need to expand my wall out a bit. Let's do that. And uh, we'll double up the wall. Not triple up, just double up. Uh, shift. There it is. 
Okay. And let's see who's attacking. Let's go clear out those guys for a bit. How's the Dota chest been? Uh, Dota auto chest? It's been fun. I've been... Um, I mean, that's the, that's the game I play when I just want to kill some time and not stress my brain. So, I haven't been getting a ton of wins because I've been having some pretty crap luck lately, but I have a good time when I play that game. All right. Got a bunch of dudes up here. Have you been playing some Dota Auto Chess? I'm curious. I think you and Kenny are probably the only ones who have even mentioned it to me. Because <laughs> I played it on stream one time and Kenny's the one who told me about it. I could increase my lasers too if I wanted to. You know what I wanted to do? I think I want to just add another... Um, power production thing, a second reactor. Just because when I do a lot of this, we start to use up our power. We could get extra battery banks, which would be useful too. It's not your jam. Well, it's a strategy thing, and it's a strategy thing in a MOBA where I don't have to actually play the MOBA where I'll get super salty. Although I get a little salty in that, but not nearly as bad. You just, do you see me playing it on Steam? Yeah, I do. Basically, if I don't want to stream or do anything else, I'll play some Dota Auto Chess while I watch some League of Legends uh, LCS stuff. So, that's my, uh, that's my veg out time. Some people might watch FTL streams or their favorite streamer just playing some random game. Certain MOBAs are what I just, I enjoy watching in my free time. Which I won't be able to do as much in the next few days because I, I did some I did uh, my vocalese group. We finally got a recording done last night, so I'm gonna have some audio and video editing I need to get done over the next couple weeks. So I'll be working on that, uh, not all the time, but a decent chunk of time I'm gonna spend on that so I can get those videos out. Hopefully, get some gigs going. Okay, so I want to see I want to see if my plastics have caught up with that increased petroleum production. If not, I need to add another plastic uh, thingy. Got to make day money. Got to make debt money. That's right. All right. Okay. All right. Plastics are doing better. Doing much better. I think it wouldn't hurt to get more plastics, though. My issue is that this one is not fully... Um, I got three speed module two since it's not going full speed. Let me put speed module ones in there. Speed module ones, it's more balanced. So this one's doing really well. Uh, I actually might need a fast inserter to extract the stuff. I need a fast inserter for this too. It's not getting coal fast enough because the way this is working. Um, okay. Let me fix this. There we go. That should be getting coal fast enough. All right, that fixes that. It's got no petroleum. Okay. So what I want to do is make another one of these here if I can. Light oil, heavy oil. And petroleum's still not banking, so I could probably add even another refinery if I wanted to. Speed modules in this guy. Increase our uh, light oil cracking to petroleum speed. Crude oil tank. Any, I always check my crude oil tanks when I make adjustments here to make sure that we are get enough crude oil. So that looks fine. Yeah, I think I do want uh, uh, one more plastics thing. Um, this 
So where could I put that? How could I squeeze this in here? If I got rid of this light oil storage tank, I could put it right here. Um, Okay, let me uh, let's see. For one thing, I'm going to need another chemical plant, I believe it is. Yeah, I might do another oil refinery. So, because I think I can squeeze it right in here with this petroleum here. I don't want to mess up my light oil too much. So, before I do this, let me add another tank here. Um, where can I fit this? Right there. Nice. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to remove this guy. Do an underground thing from here to there. And I need this. I need to put this back in here. So... Is that going so well where was that going is that going anywhere ah okay so i was connecting this okay So there's that. So now if I fit a uh, what's it call it? Chemical plant here. Where would the plastics go? I could do a long hand inserter thing somewhere. If I got rid of this tank or moved it. Okay. Nope, I can't put that there because I'm going to need the coal. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, if we do... That gives us a little space there. So I need to get the coal down here, which is going to be like this, to there. Um, okay. There we go. Chemical plant. There we go. Okay. So that'll let me put the coal in here. Um, you are going to be plastics. And then the sulfur, not the sulfur, whatever this is, petroleum or whatever. Um, I wonder if I can get it in the back end here, actually. I think I could. If I go down, if I go somehow get across here uh, let's see here so if I go like this there there <laughs> another crazy crazy build all right nope more spaghetti mode okay Okay, the water's in the way here. Do that. There we go. So that's plastics there. <laughs> I'm walking around <laughs> this area is uh, such a pain. Okay. All right, now we just need to um, output it. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. Bam, more plastics. Okay, all right. Increase our plastics production. Uh, 500 yellows for flammables. I really don't care about flammables. Uh, weapon shooting speed, don't really care. Follow robot count. Most of the stuff I care about. You know what? I don't have space stuff. So let's start the atomic bomb, man. Let's get the A-bomb going. Okay, so how's our plastics doing? Is that going to increase our red production? We have so... <laughs> we need so much. I think I need another plastics thing for just how much we're making there. Um, let's look at our fluid production again, though. 8.2K. I could use more petroleum. Light oil. I think I could use more light oil and petroleum. Let's just do another... Let's do another two of these. We're still not using up our crude oil. So two more um, oil refineries. Now that I got a setup that's easily expandable, let's take advantage of it. Does that make plans Saturday? You should be able to catch more of the horizons unknown Friday. Nice. Awesome, man. Well, apparently we're having another new um, cast member added. So Shogi's just recruiting like crazy. Just recruiting like a madman. That's I just made the wrong thing, didn't I? Yeah. Oil refinery. Isn't that what I made? No, I made chemical plants, didn't I? Yeah, I made the wrong thing. Two more of those. Two, two of those. Uh, four is a perfect amount of players, in your opinion. Um, so if we get one more, that'll be the perfect amount. This robot thing might be in the way, so I think I'll go, well, yeah, let's, I don't want to move that because I've placed those in very specific spots to maximize their range. Although with that one being there, I think I could adjust this one down and it would be fine. Yeah, let's actually move this down a bit. Uh, I don't want it to be in the way of the other stuff, but I think that'll be fine. Okay, there we go. And then one more of these guys. Okay. So we need more underground pipes. So first things first, the oil, or the, uh, yeah, the crude oil, there, and there. Man, I love you logistics robots. You guys are awesome. There we go, there's that. And then the water. So much better when you, like, plan. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I knew that thing was going to be in the way. Oh, it's not needed anyway. Great. My nose. My nose. Okay, and then we go here to there to there. Damn, that that is in the way. All right, well, let's go one space over then. It's fine. This will be a slight wrap around. Just so I don't have to move that again because I'm lazy. There we go. And then this guy was a short one. Okay. OK. 
Okay, there and more underground pipes. I should probably have those. Um, auto processed or whatever, automated. All right, there we go. So now we should be overproducing all of our fluids. So I need another way to make plastics, a place where I can fit uh, water and coal. Oh, we're actually using up a lot of coal now. A lot of coal. Uh, I think I need to increase my coal mining. But before I make more plastics, I need to increase my coal mining. We're finally actually using a bunch of it. Okay. Right, so let's make like, if I get like five more, I think that'll be enough for what we're doing here. Let's see here, is there any here? No. There's some here though. this for now. Okay. I might actually need to use uh, fast belts for this thing now. Possibly. Okay, so there's that. And then I picked up my radar. Where is it? Or my... Uh, yeah, radar. Extra turret. Okay. All right, hopefully... Now you guys aren't working because of the way this is all going on that one side. Um, I'll just do a quick fix for this. There. Okay, so is that enough extra coal? I might want to do even more. If we're going to really increase our plastics production, you know, let's do, let's do like, all right, two more. What am I out of? Iron. Why aren't you bringing me iron? Robots. Where are my robots? Bring me iron. I wasn't in the system, I guess. So if we do like a um, couple more on this side. Like right. Do that. Okay. There we go. I got two more. I can place them here if I move this big pole. Big pole. Okay. There we go. That should be plenty of coal. Look at that sexy rocket. Oh, is it that? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's done. Okay. Rocket inventory. What would I put in a rocket? I'm expected to put the satellite here. What's a satellite? What is a satellite? Uh, I don't know if I've seen it. Is that like a last research thing I haven't made? Um, uh, what is a satellite? Uh, 
Is there like a search? Search. Oh, there is a satellite. Holy crap. Okay. So that you can get higher level research, adding one to your spaceship will give you 1k of white science upon launch. Okay. Well, um, I think I can make one of these. 100 low density structures. Let's see if I can make one. Uh, I'm not banking as much because we're using all these yellows. Oh, that's okay. I don't have that. It's not needed to win the game. So if I just launch the rocket, I win the game. Okay, I just want to see what happens. I'm probably going to want to make a satellite before I do this. But I want to see what happens when I just launch it. Let's zoom out. If it's going to show the launch. Put a fish in it. <laughs> I don't have a fish. Uh, I'll put a one single construction robot. Oh, it's going. I wonder if I should put myself in it. Has to be a fish for the achievement. How do you get a fish? Oh. Hey, there it goes. <laughs> Victory. You get a fish from the water? Wow. And it gives you how long it took you. So 46 hours. All right, that's my first time to win the game. G you know what? GG cookie time. We don't have enough GG cookie time since I've stopped playing FDL. GG cookie time. Um, That's crazy. It keeps track of everything. Wait, what is this? Is this saying what I lost or... Killed. Because <laughs> you're not here to force feed your cookie times. That's right. You had no cookies? God. Mark Mary. What are you doing in your life with no cookies? So I guess it's all the stuff that blew up or got destroyed. So there should be one nuclear factory here somewhere. No, it doesn't show any nuclear factories. I'm going to finish. I'm going to see if it gives me a... Okay. Let me load right before I just launched it. And let's launch a fish into fifth space. 